Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us tonight in the desperate search for a beautiful three-year-old Florida girl, Kelly. Have you asked your daughter, where's Kaylee? Yes, I did. And where is she? She doesn't know. Why? Because someone took her. High-profile Central Florida defense attorney Mark Nijam is lashing out against those who are going after his clients, George and Cindy Anthony. Some people say they're in denial. So what? Allow them. If that's what they need to process and grieve, no, excuse me, if that's what they need to process and grieve, then that's what they need to process and grieve. Nee James said one of the problems he's trying to iron out is people are blurring the lines between his clients and their daughter, Casey. He says George and Cindy are working with authorities answering calls about possible sightings of the little girl, but they aren't digging up dirt looking for bones. Do well, I have anything to say about the new theory that Casey might be dead? It might have been an accident? Shut up! Shut up! They believe, they desperately believe, that Kaylee is still here. And that's their right. There has been speculation of possible book deals with the Anthony's. Nee James says the family has no intentions of doing that. Also, he says the family did not pay one penny to bond their daughter out of jail last week. But they did sign a promissory note to look after her. If the person leaves, clearly the Anthony's don't have this kind of net worth. But at least the bonds person will have something to go after and take everything that the people own. We are taking your calls live with us tonight. A special guest, the attorney for Cindy and George Anthony, the grandparents in this case, the grandparents of little Kelly, now missing for 12 long weeks. Mark Najame is with us, sir. Thank you for being with us. First, I want to go to Mark Williams with WNDB. What's the latest? Well, Nancy, as we've talked about earlier, top mom Casey Anthony could be arrested at any moment. That's what sources close to the investigation are saying. Apparently, she has passed some additional bad checks to area businesses such as Winn-Dixie, which is a supermarket chain here in the South, AT&T, and uh, uh, some other places of interest as well. These checks came from her friend's car, Amy Heisinger. If you recall, Amy went on vacation to Puerto Rico, allowing Casey to use the car and she allegedly took some checks. She's passing this bad paper. She was arrested two weeks ago on uh, fraudulent charges as well. So that's the big thing. Again, sources close to the investigation say Casey Anthony could be busted at any moment, Nancy. Now, let me ask you this. If she is busted, as you say, will she go straight back to jail? It's my theory that she will be processed in, but the deal is uh, she's already out on, on the $500,000 bond. She will have to be arraigned, of course, make a first appearance, and she, she will have to be uh, uh, let out on bail on that if somebody wants to put bail up for those charges, which last time, if I recall, was only like $2,500 or so. Straight to Mark Nijame the attorney for George and Cindy Anthony. Sir, thank you for being with us, everyone. Mr. Nijame is a veteran criminal defense attorney, no stranger to a courtroom. It's a pleasure to have you on. And uh, at the very outset, sir, let me advise you that many of us continue to keep George and Cindy Anthony in our prayers along with little Kelly. Their distress over her disappearance is obvious to everyone on our show. We do not think they are part of any plot regarding little Kelly. I am curious why they felt they should hire a criminal defense attorney. Um, first of all, thank you for having me yes, and, sir. And, I, and I appreciate the kind words. Um, at the risk of, of, of sounding patronizing, I mean, what are they expected to hire? A real estate lawyer? No, um, a is, PR this... person. If you're intending a PR blitz no, like the one you have conducted. No, that's not what we're doing. What's happened is, is that this is a complex legal system. There are more twists and turns in this case than probably any case I've seen in my 28 years of practice. Not for them. Oh, yes, very much so. You, there, there's been suggestions that um, George would be arrested for everything from the gun to the trespass case uh, that's existing. There's um, comments all over the place, and I appreciate your comment because a lot of people don't understand it, and that is that they are not suspects. They are not people of interest. In fact, the Orange County Sheriff's Office, um, who's conducting a very intensive investigation, extremely professional in the way they've been talking and dealing with me, have indicated that they are not um, to be involved in any way, that they have not been involved in any way. Many, many people don't believe that. If you read the blogs, if you read the emails, um, if you listen to a lot of the news reports, 
many people believe they are suspects, and I appreciate greatly you confirming that because the Orange County Sheriff's Office has stated exactly what you said. They are not suspects. They are not people of interest. So they are hiring you, a criminal, a veteran criminal defense attorney, because of the pending charges against Mr. Anthony? No, not at all. It's completely, it's about everything. Um, we are veterans in dealing with the media. It's something that we've been doing for many years. So there is a media aspect to this case, obviously, I think. This case has turned into the three-ring circus that it has for many reasons, and one of those reasons has been the mishandling of the media. These are just simple grandparents. I, I, I think, uh, all due respect, sir, but I think the mishandling of the media should be the least of concerns in this case. And Mr. Nijame, I certainly you have tried to tell your clients, George and Cindy Anthony, the reason the public is having this reaction to them because they many people believe have the power to convince Casey Anthony to tell the truth do about think, little Kaylee. Do you think that there are any people on this earth that want to find Kaylee more than, no, George, I do not. than, than George and Cindy? So do, you, do, do people not think they have done anything within their human power to do that? But I do not they, think they have. And well, I'll tell you what I think is then, lacking. Because they you have. just asked me, sir, and I'm giving you an answer. And the reason I don't think that they have done everything they can is because they are turning away from the truth. Number one, I do believe those two, Cindy and George Anthony, love this little girl more than anybody else on this earth and want to find her more than anybody, including their daughter, Casey Anthony. But by... Uh, precluding the possibility that little Kelly is deceased. They are prolonging a search for her. We couldn't disagree more. Um, there's been a lot of misstatements concerning that. People have wondered why they've not been out there with, in the fields digging with many of those wonderful volunteers who are going out there who believe different than they do. They believe that Kaylee is no longer with us. They bless and support those people. They just disagree with the conclusion. Now, what we're asking for is for people to stop attacking them so that they can go about the business, which is another path. They have hope. And people said there's only a one in a hundred chance that little Kaylee is with us. But somebody has to be that one. It, it, so for them to hold on hope, is that a terrible thing? It's no, not. It's, it's not. not. And, and for them to stick a shovel in the ground means they've surrendered to the universe and to themselves that Kaylee is no longer okay. with us. And what, they're not ready to do that. And that should what, be respected and understood. What about the fact that by not encouraging and fully supporting the search for little Kaylee, dead or alive, by turning away from the evidence, they are prolonging the search and prolonging volunteers, police, money, uh, people's prayers, their thoughts. What's been, what's been prolonging that are the distractions which we're attempting to stop. Okay, take they... a listen to this. Take a listen to this. There was no odor in the car when it was towed down to the towing company. No odor. I felt rotten, whatever it was. Something decomposing in there. Maybe someone put a body in the car after it was towed to the tow yard. I know what I know. Kaylee is not dead. Air samples don't mean anything. You guys don't know. The person who was in the back of my granddaughter's car is not my granddaughter. So I want you guys get your get your facts straight.